Hello YouTube, this is an overview of the Brave browser, what I like about it. Uh, so let's get started. First thing is what I like about this browser is based on Chrome source code. So it's really fast. And um, according to the company, they block ads and tracking cookies and fingerprinting uh, uh, methods all are also blocked uh, how do I know that uh, you can go to whoer.net and see if you have a hundred percent of uh, anonymity over here so uh, one of the things that I like about this browser is the flash is disabled and also web rtc which is also disabled uh, web rtc can reveal your uh, local ip or your real ip if you're behind a vpn or a proxy so that's very important to disable and if you go up on the icon you'll see that you have shield uh, turned on and here you can control some of the features of this browser uh, this one just turns on the features for a specific uh, website if you want to turn on all this stuff for um, the general browser you have to go to the menu settings and you go down to shields and for all sites as you can see on top block scripts will um, turn off JavaScript so I didn't turn that off I, I didn't turn that on fingerprint uh, you can turn that on and that's pretty much it and if you go down to security this is when you close the brave browser you can delete browsing history download history cache images pretty much everything that um, browser saves on your computer so I didn't turn them on yet uh, probably in the future I, I will turn them on but not right now and if you go down here turn on the do not track uh, feature also and as you can see I'm using a VPN since the uh, Brave browser is quite new, they're still developing um, extensions for it. So that might be uh, a turn off and using this browser because it has limited amount of extensions. And I think the best feature of this browser is that you can create sessions new sessions per tab so if you want to log into a website uh, with multiple uh, accounts Let's say you have multiple accounts on Facebook you can do that by going or creating a new session tab uh, for each account and that's pretty much sums it up guys thanks for watching and hit the thumbs up button have a good day